At this point, I feel like the Emil Shop theme is just kind of our unofficial anthem. Because I've played it so many times during the setup phase. Anyways, hey, yeah, we're trying we're trying out an earlier stream than usual. Because, you know, I had the opportunity to do so. So I figured, you know what, why not, right? <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing good. But yeah, it's it's like 8, 11 a.m. where I am right now. Okay, so so to give a rundown, um, the thing is, right, like my dad typically works from home, but he's not doing that today. 
and he doesn't like it when I stream while he's working, which, you know, is fair. I'm pretty loud, and he needs to be able to focus on work. That's completely fair. I'm not faulting him for that. I'm just saying that's what that's why I usually wait until like 6.30 around to stream. But he's actually at the office today, so I figured I'd try streaming earlier in the day. See how it goes, you know? See what the view counts are like, see how people like it, and we'll kind of go from there. So last time we started on the sa we finished up the solar solstice, I believe it's called, and then we started on Sacred Path, but because the stream was kind of running long and it was getting late, I ended up cutting it off before I finished the first air level of Sacred Path, so we're going to start up on that now. I'm pretty sure we're like right at the end of the of the first level, so you know. Hold on, no, no, no. What does this say? The giant protects the way. Okay. Game autosave. Yep. Does it feel weird streaming in the morning? It kind of does, but at the same time, I actually feel a lot more energized than usual. I actually got up in the morning for once, so, you know. Oh, there's the giant they mentioned. Come on, land it. Okay, got him. Oh, this music. In the wake of at 11. I actually usually wake up like super late in the day. But I need to mow later. Ooh. So I figured, you know what, I might as well wake up at a decent time for once and just kind of enjoy the morning. Hmm. I actually don't have the Eternum, so... Is going for that really even worth it? Hmm. this bit. Alright, that was easy. Picked up a giant soul. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. How quickly is this thing going to die if I use soul mode on it? One, two, two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, what's this? I'm gonna guess that this is supposed to be the way forward. Yeah, soul mode on the, uh, all the weapon soul modes are really good. 
Every single weapon in this game is powerful in its own right. Okay, Journeyman's Way completed. Alright, on we go. Aha! Immediately got the Celestial Claw, so we got some ammo back for that. That's good. We're gonna need it. Whisper's Edge is still a godsend. Hold on. There's something here? Nope. to say. The Apostle's Shrine is a test of skill. I'll believe it when I see it. Some more green mana. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, got some orange mana. The key is to look. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I got jumped. I very much appreciate how quickly the the axe attacks. Like it, this thing would be borderline unusable if it didn't attack this quickly. Okay. Oh, these things. Yeah. No. Uh. Uh. No, no, no. I... I reject that. Wholesale. Friggin' tiki heads. I don't know what they're actually called, and I'm not sure I care. Okay, well, actually... The legless Mike Wazowski's from Doom. <laughs> they are not caca demons. Actually, now I am curious as to what they're called. Hold on. Protector. Fire Visage. Okay. down here. Doesn't appear to be. By the way, thank God this game doesn't have like a breath meter or something stupid like that. <laughs> Cacodemons except they're voiced by Mike Wazowski. <laughs> oh, fish. Should have guessed. I, I should have guessed that there'd be fish. 
Nope. Wait a minute. No, hold on. Okay, they don't fall in. Okay, finally got out of there. Cyber Demon is Sully. What? No, Cyber. No, Sully would be like a Baron of Hell. And the CEO of the company would be the Spider Mastermind. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Hmm. Oh. Hello, sir. Because we're alone and cringe. I mean, true. Okay, there's got to be a secret or two around here. I'd be shocked if there wasn't. I like how when those enemies die, they just, like, face plant. Like... <laughs> ah, yes, there is a secret, but usual time is better for your viewers. Probably, yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Did I just come back the way I came? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh. Or not. Wait a minute. I thought I saw something. Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I got turned around for a second. Trying to conserve Celestial Claw, my mana. I think it'd be cool if there was like a flamethrower weapon that ran on orange mana. Something for modders, I guess. Speaking of orange mana. The, refl the reflection of water only shows the surface. Ah! I can press that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we might as well take advantage of it. actually worked out pretty well as far as accidental usages of soul of soul mode go just uh, grab that grab that and let me grab this health over here I must escape the darkness anon okay <laughs> the pure soul is like water
Now here's the question. Can I sequence break again? I really should stop trying to find ways to sequence break. <laughs> when the entire objective of this stream is to show the game off to my viewers. You know, but at the same time, it's really fun to think of ways to do it. Oh. Any other wise guys? There we go, okay. Alright, that bit's not great, but whatever. Sist- Oh, hello! <laughs> you prick. I mean, the thing is, with that, like, platform, it raises when you're on it, but I think the trigger for that is a little bit too big, so it would raise up whenever I would try to get on top of it. <laughs> like, which is, uh, a little not great. Hold on a second. Nope. Okay. Yep. In there. First of all, I have to actually be good at the game. Damn it. What about... No. How am I supposed to get that? There's got to be a way. Because, you know, it's right there. So surely there's some way to get that. Ugh, okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I know what I need to do. Just need to time it right. Not like that. <sighs> Keep getting sent flying. That is one thing I don't like about this game. It has very poor air control. Yes! Got it! <laughs> Let's go! Now we go over here. No, thank you. <laughs> Did not feel like dealing with your bullshit today, sir. <laughs> Alright, I've got plenty of uh got plenty of mana for the celestial claw, so let's pull that out.
Honestly, I have to I have to be honest, I feel like my least favorite weapon in the game is the Voltride. I mean it's not bad, but I feel like the Azure Orb is like a much better weapon. Maybe that's just me though. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who prefer the Voltride, which honestly is completely valid. Just, you know, the seek... The, the thing is, I'm not... I don't have the best aim in the world. So, being able to have homing projectiles... Is very useful for me. <laughs> oh, hello. Dick move, game. Dick move. Let's see. Yep, that's a quick save. I didn't mean to quick save there, but okay. everyone's doing fine today on this fine Thursday I believe morning hmm up we go you know what let's just throw a whole ocean at them Day's too young for me to decide. Fair enough. Alright, let's see. That's this place of the Haven. He studied the heavens and was worried. Okay. Long ago the Apostle lived here. He studied the heavens and was worried. He left this place of the Haven. So basically what I'm gathering from that is a dude saw what was about to go down, so I screw this, I'm out of here, and left everyone else to their own devices. Ooh. Keep yawning. <laughs> hey, Weir. And yeah, I saw that. Sir. Oh my god! <laughs> His head went like bouncing around. What was that? Oh, hello. <laughs> I like how the end of the puzzle is just dropping a rock onto it. <laughs> like, I get it, game. You have a physics engine. You don't need to flaunt it every five seconds.
Okay. Really confused about what that did. But I guess we'll find out if we go back up. At the very least, I hope we will. I don't think this game has bunny hopping, but it's still fun to do, so, you know. go from here. Okay, so the game doesn't have a map. So, I guess the game is just like, figure it out for yourself, buddy. Oh. How did I not notice this? Playing only horror games in the spooky month? I don't know. I might play a horror game. But only horror games, I don't know. Possibly. It, it depends on how things, on how I feel, you know? I just kind of go with the flow. Oh, that's a lot. Helicopter axe time. <laughs> By the way, we're if you have you since you probably haven't seen this game before, you're missing out like on some really great weapons. Actually, I have plenty of uh, Celestial Claw ammo. Ow. Please stop hitting me, sir. Thank you. You know what, game? Screw your puzzles. <laughs> I, have, I have a magic rocket launcher that shoots planets. Okay, fair enough. And you can be the soldier. Yes, indeed. Alright. On to the next one. I'm going to quick save just so I don't accidentally hit F6 and screw myself over. The Pilgrim's Temple lies ahead. Ok, 
Okay. Got that. By the way, how is like the visual quality of my streams lately? Is it improved? Is it better? Because if it is, I've, I know why. <laughs> it's because, for some reason, I had my uh, stream quality settings for the resolution at like 720p. When I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. I felt very stupid when I realized that. I don't even remember what. I think, actually, no. I think I said it to that back when I still had had uh, bugger all for RAM. But now I actually have a decent amount of RAM, so I can actually, you know. Only one who worships may enter. Uh. Oh, I need the silver key. Okay. I don't know how I didn't see that. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to cut back on my heavy swearing. So the next best thing is British slang. Okay? Prayer grounds. Oh, hello. I can teach you some things. Don't worry, I watch I watched Thew Adams and Tear of Grace. I I know some British slang. <laughs> That was a misclick. Again. Alright, we'll see if we can make the most of it. Uh, I know about nonce. Oh, it, 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 it's kind of one of those things where if, like, if I actively think about it, it won't come to me. But in the heat of the moment, it definitely will come to me. <laughs> It's like one of those, if I don't think about it, I'll, I'll think, I'll remember it, you know? Not doing great for health right now. Alright. The Pilgrim's Path went out of seven. Craving to learn, the Pilgrim started his journey to the Sacred Worlds. heads.
Well, hello. <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright, got a decent mana boost. Let's go. Alright, that was dirty game and you know it. I like the textures on the planets that this that this thing shoots. I think they might be randomized. I don't know. Like randomly generated from a from a set of patterns and colors and stuff. It'd be cool if it, it'd be cool if that was the case. Okay, game, is this a test of how many of these you can throw at me at once? Because I think you need to learn when this is, when, um, how many of these is too many. <laughs> I think someone needs to educate you. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Stop it. I don't want to die again. God, I'm not doing good on health. Sacred Path is always hard for me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a smart person and quick save so that I don't have to start the whole level over if I die. Correctly, this is actually one of the harder uh, levels. Okay. The Pilgrim's Path, two out of seven. In the Sun Realm, he detained the teachings of the light. However, he could not see darkness arising from underneath. Is there another one in here? Well, let's head back to the center of the uh, center of the map and go the other way, shall we? Well, I got the perfect idea. Oh no! Oh no! What would that be? Oh, the healer one. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember her. I remember her. What's the idea? Am curious.
Heal for shadowing the dark times. Okay. I guess this was the way I needed to go? I don't know. Warm disaster relief. Oh, I like that. So basically, they cause conflict so that they can alleviate it. That's... That's cool. I like that idea. See, okay, I can't help but feel like that was supposed to open. But it didn't. So, like, what do I do? What do I do, Lord? Uh, I believe you're right about that. Seems my theory earlier about like randomized colors and patterns is correct. here the whole time. You know, I'm pretty sure I made that mistake when I first played this game, too. Never claimed to be the most observant individual on the on the planet. Okay, okay, that's the Celestial Claw. One more shot than I needed to, but whatever. Everything perishes. God, this weapon is just so fantastic. I mean, all of them are. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> I remember seeing a review for a medieval that said something along the lines of typically you can tell how good an FPS game is by the quality of its shotgun so how do you how do you judge the quality of a medieval a game where there is no shotgun <laughs> like, I don't know why but I just find that found that kind of funny it was a positive review so like you know he's like yeah no this is a great game it's just it's just kind of funny that like this is an FPS game that doesn't have a shotgun, and yet it's still incredibly fun. I mean, I guess you could say the Whisper's Edge is kind of a shotgun, because it fires a wide a wide shot that can hit multiple enemies at once, if you, if you use it right. Like, 
from that perspective, I guess the Whisper's Edge is a shotgun. But even then, not really. I have no desire to put up with that thing today. Or that thing. Okay, take care of you. Take care of you. We need to make a shotgun alignment chart over this. <laughs> okay, okay. So the Doom 3 shotgun is chaotic evil. Well, no, 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 actually no. The Doom 3 shotgun is lawful evil. Because it's a bad shotgun, but it's made by id. Um, chaotic evil is the, shot, is the boomstick from Redneck Rampage. Uh... Let me think. In the Arcane Expanse, he finally realized the corruption coming out of the void. However, it was too late. Okay, I think we should make a rule for this shotgun alignment chart. Um, double barrel shotguns only count if the game does not have a traditional shotgun. In the Moon Realm, he received the teachings of the Night. However, he could not see depravity corrupting the Doctrine. Nineteen Eleven pistol. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a chaotic evil sh uh, shotgun alignment chart should just be like, like, like how effective it is. So, like, you've got. Therefore, it is a shotgun. <laughs> but no, that's not an alignment chart. That's one of those weird charts that's like... That like results in the idea that... <laughs> that the Wizard of Oz is an isekai. <laughs> like, that's not an alignment chart. That's an, that's an isekai chart. Okay, I thought you meant like a D&D style like chaotic evil, chaotic neutral, lawful lawful evil, lawful good, like that kind of thing. That's what I thought you meant by an alignment chart. He spit his spirit twisted by the void in the pilgrim, a mere dust of dreams. His evil knowledge sustained, the fallen pilgrim's soul will never find peace. Okay, okay. Okay, but what about a moral alignment chart for shotguns themselves? What do you consider a sandwich? Hot dogs are sandwiches and I will die on this hill. It is a piece of meat sandwiched between two slices of bread. Just because the two slices of bread are conjoined does not mean it is not a sandwich. Because it's a very thin... Like it's a very thin layer of bread that's con that's con that's like conjoining them. Okay, so all right, here we go. <laughs> what if I'm out of hot dog buns? Okay, game, stop throwing these at me. And I wrap the hot dog around one piece of bread. 
I mean, in that scenario, it's not a sandwich because it's only one piece of bread. A hot dog is, is, is contained by two slices. They might be joined, but they are still two slices. <laughs> this is such a stupid argument. I love how, like... I love how the hot dog, how the hot dog is a sandwich argument always gets like super heated. It's so great. Oh no, a burger is absolutely a sandwich. It's a meat sandwich, basically. This whole time it was right here. I'm stupid. I am a fool, you hear me? A fool! Traditionally, a burger is associated with, like, beef, so I'd say no. So what would the criteria for the, uh, for the shotgun alignment chart be, out of curiosity? I feel like the neutral axis should be does it deal damage up close? I mean, like, no. Does it deal heavier damage up close compared to at a distance? Those who follow the pilgrim steps are doomed to face this reality. I feel like we missed one or two, but whatever. I like how we have barely any idea what we're doing here with this discussion. But it, fi but it fires like a shotgun. Yeah, like it doesn't have the form of a shotgun, but it functions like one. I see what you're getting at. Damn it, that was a misclick. Okay.
The rocket shotguns from Borderlands! <laughs> Lawful good has to be the doom shotgun. Like... Like, there is no debate. It has to be the Doom Shotgun. Can be the one from Doom Eternal. Can be the one from... Not not the one from Doom 3. The one from Doom 3 sucks. You're being watched. I mean... I am streaming this game. So you're not wrong, game. All right, let's see if we can melt the boss for the fourth time. Yep. Yep. Dads, if you're watching this, please nerf the Azure Orb Soul Mode. Holy shit. Like, not by much, just enough to where I can't... Or at least make it so that bosses are slight, slightly resistant to it or something. Because that is just obscene. Like, I'm all for really powerful weapons in FPS games, but, like, that is just dumb. We've just erased every single boss we've gone up against. <laughs> like, just completely remove them from this plane of existence. Welcome back, champion. All right. So where do you guys want me to go next? The Forges or the Arcane Expanse? What's your choice? Oh god, the chart exists. It does? Okay, no, I would argue that the super shotgun, like, super shotgun needs to be its own alignment chart. Like, we're just talking standard shotguns. A super shotgun needs its own alignment chart, I think. Okay, specifically for nerf shotguns? Oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> oh my god, no. No, you guys need to see this shit. Y'all need to see this. Add source. Add a new source. Nerf shotgun. <laughs> oh my god, this is the funniest thing I've seen in a while, and I don't know why. Look at this. <laughs> a nerf shotgun doesn't. I love that the nerf shotgun doesn't have to to resemble a real shot. Can we talk about the judge for a second? Like, can we just talk about the judge for a hot minute? Look at this absolute beast. This thing looks like a Borderlands weapon. <laughs> I, I love the... 
I love how the judge fits under the function purist. A shotgun should fire as much ammo as it possibly can. <laughs> Like, I feel like, I feel like the judge is basically just firing, like, you just fire a wall of darts at who, at whatever unlucky son of a gun is in your way. Oh my god. So that, oh my god. This is so good. I think this might be my favorite in image on the internet right now. <laughs> there are people who are like really into Nerf and it cracks me up. I love the progression on the on the shot on the bottom row. Like you got the takedown, which kind of looks like a shotgun. You got the sling fire, which sort of resembles a shotgun, and then you got the jolt, which is dead ass just a pistol. Like that is not a shotgun in any capacity. <laughs> oh my god, no, we're I, I okay. I'm going to have to show you this after the stream, but uh, actually, no, hold on. That actually looks like an actual Nerf gun. That's the best thing. Like, I know what Nerf gun that is. It's like a, hold on. I'm trying to find it. Yes. Yes. This absolute God legend, this, this absolute legend. Oh my god, this thing brings back so many memories. Okay, so so bear with me for a second. So Weir sent me this, right? The this is the uh these are the payday two uh pistol shotguns, specifically the skin that makes them look like a nerf gun, right? Well here's the thing. That actually resembles a real nerf gun. The Maverick Rev 6. I, I I remember a friend of mine having one of these as a kid. <laughs> it's not a shotgun, but it's probably one of the most famous, like, it's probably one of the most famous Nerf guns out there, in my opinion. It's definitely one of the most iconic. I absolutely love this thing. Okay, we, we need to get back to the game, but oh my god, that was a fun little diversion. <laughs> I'm going to have to send the shotgun alignment chart to someone. We literally got it at a thrift store years ago. Yeah, the Rev 6 Maverick is like a, a, a friggin' icon. Uh... I'm going to go to the Forges next. Went in a circle there. Question. Did I use the, uh... Did I use the Eternum even once during the last episode? <laughs> during the... During the Sacred Path? I don't think I did. Oh, we're starting with the Celestial Claw, are we? That's a good sign. Well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that. With aim like mine.
starting with the Celestial Claw is not ideal. Like, I mean, granted, it's a good weapon, but man, having it early on when you have, like, no ammo for it... Ugh, it's not ideal. Oh, thank God, the Whisper's Edge. Okay. Laser Gate Control. Yeah, this is a little bit creepy. I'll take that, thank you very much. So yeah, this is definitely, like, probably the creepiest the game's been since we started. Oh, hello. I see the Eternum over there. Definitely gonna need that. Yeah, the uh, en the enemies in the forges, they, they don't mess around. Oh, God! Okay, no, give me that, give me that. Okay. Thank God for the axe. And we've got full ammo for the Voltride. We're going to need this. We are definitely going to need this. Oh my God. I got so close to death there. That was so That was scary. So yeah, in case you can't tell, the Forge is where this game actually starts getting really difficult. Like, it is done messing around. You had your fun, now begins the pain. And here's the thing. The, for the uh, Forge's boss has a gimmick that means I probably won't be able to melt him with the Azure Orb. Or at the very least, it's going to be harder to do so. Oh god, these things. Quick, quick, quick. This game looks so good. You cannot tell me this game is not gorgeous. And, like, be completely serious. Like, it's just impossible. This game is an absolute masterpiece of visual design. I got turned around thanks to those things. version of old FPS games. That's definitely the intent. But, like, it's just... It's just so pretty. The aesthetic design, the visual effects, the crispiness of it all. And again, 
I mentioned this in the last, in the first stream. But you see the, but you see the, the weapon sprites, right? Yeah, these are sprites. These are not 3D models. These are normal map sprites. You'd never guess it unless I, um, unless I told you that or you were paying close attention to like the artifacting and stuff. Patience is a virtue. God, that deals so much damage. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 I don't want to be close to you. Go away, go away. What was that? Oh god, these things. Oh, thank god for the Whisper's Edge. Very effective at dealing with those. One thing I am glad about is, like, you know how we've been melting bosses with the Whisper's Edge a lot? From what I remember, it is impossible to melt the, first, the final boss. Like, it has way too much health for that to happen. Which is good. Because I do not want to cheapen out the, the final boss of this game. I actually kind of feel bad that the Azure Orb has proven to be so effective. Or rather, it's soul mode. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want to get crushed. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine this game have falling damage? If you think you, you th if you think the game is being ha is being hard on me right now, oh boy! When I said the forges don't mess around, I was not be I was not speaking lightly. Like, look, if the game gives you the most powerful weapon in the game. God damn it, I did it again. In terms of power output, if the game gives you the strongest weapon in the first level in plain sight, you're in for some hell. I had the staff of the Azure Orb, but I don't. I do have the Star of Torment, though. Okay, hold on. I need to stretch my legs a bit. Oh. Oh. Oh, that felt good. Back to it. Could y'all hear 
the my uh my knees popping because I saw the uh I saw the audio tracker on on OBS like go off when I did that. Okay, funny hop, funny hop, funny hop. Oh, more of these things. Oh God. Getting shot at. Got some more ammo for the Eternum. Mana, not ammo, mana. There's a, our constructs are ceaseless. You can actually press the shift key to move a little slower, which is good for, like, precision and movement. Oh god, these things! What just happened? Did, did the saw bounce off of me and into it? have anywhere else to go. You'll be dragged into the machine. In the words of Dr. Evil, how about no? I know exactly what that enemy does and I am not having any of that shit. Under, under no circumstances am I putting up with your bullshit today, sir. It harpoons you and pulls you close and deals a lot of damage. It's... It's a threat. And one I do not take lightly. Because I, because actually, on my first time playing the game, I died to that guy a lot. Well, comparatively. I don't really die often in a medieval. Because I play on normal like a... Like a, uh, like a casual. I just don't enjoy pain. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh god, it's one of these things where your view is constantly rotating. Oh, I always hate this. I always hate this. It always messes with me so hard. Well, it's giving me more purple mana, so let's make use of the Eternum, yeah?
Okay. Alright, we did it. We beat it. Oh, no. <clears throat> Prepare yourself for the pain ahead. It's not wrong! That's literally singeing my face. I actually really like the forges for the most part. Like, this is definitely when the game really starts to test your knowledge of how well each of the weapons work and, like, what you can do with them. And then Arcane Expanse after this is just... God tier. You'll see why. You'll see why. I, I'm... I want to at least play the first level of Arcane Expanse on, on stream today. Because, oh my god, it's gorgeous. Like, it's a fantastic set of levels. I'm of the opinion that the game peaks with uh, Arcane Expanse. Not that the final level is bad, not the final set of levels are bad. I mean, I don't really remember enjoying them too much, but then again, I also been to the game like a moron. Which I've stated I can't do. So, you know, we'll see how I like it when I've actually taken breaks between play sessions, you know? Instead of trying to beat the, beat the whole game in one sitting like an absolute tool. I think I remember what's down here. I think I remember what I'm up against. This bastard! That enemy is called the Pain Master. That name is not an exaggeration. He can shred you if you if you don't get out of the way. Oh god, oh god, nope, nope. Okay, I can I can do that a lot better. Yeah, cuz I used the Eternum on him. Let's try that again. Like I I could have done a lot better of a job there. Because I remember how much of a pain he is to deal with otherwise. The less time I spend with a pain ma in the same room as a pain master, the better. Hall, Hall of Spikes. Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with that run of it. No thank you.
All right. So, here's the thing. I can feel myself getting frustrated. I'm starting to hit that point. So, uh, let me just make sure. Yes, okay. So, I'm going to call it here so that I don't have another meltdown on stream. So, thanks to everyone who showed up. Um, I don't know if I'll do early streams again. I probably won't, mostly because I don't have the opportunity to. But, thanks to everyone who showed up. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. Goodbye.